So XCLA stock, Excella Technologies Inc. is forming a consolidation here, trying to hold itself up and showing some strength. But before we look at this chart and everything about it, all I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. It helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos, as well as I have the home run of the day to share with you guys. Let's look at it and we're going to jump right back into this chart. The home run of the day was spectacular and these are the opportunities that we look for daily. Obviously, it won't happen every single day, but realistic expectations are 5 to 10% gains, 10 to 20%, and 20% plus is a home run. Today, we hit a home run and if you want to become part of that and you're interested in knowing what stocks I watch daily through the volatility of the market, whether it's going up or going down, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord and by joining us, you'll become part of of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so bcrx gave us about 10 percent plus at their bottom drop and jump and then it started to rise up through the day zy was our home run of the day and mmat is a stock i've not invested in i'm not even watching it but all the members had questions on why it popped up and it has to do with agreements of being acquired and acquiring nanotech so that's what had a jump and a bounce and I just wanted to update everyone but let's look at this home run of the day how it turned out because this was spectacular we caught this one in the pre-market sitting sideways jumped up about 10 to 20 percent sat sideways again and right off the bell 30 percent plus it was up because you could see it there in the messages ZY is up 30 percent plus at 939 in just 10 minutes nearly 9 to 10 minutes 30 percent plus continue to jump up 40 to 50 percent plus and the highest point of the day was 80 percent plus guys if you want to become part of this and you want to know what stocks i watch daily you're more than welcome to join us and we look forward to having you join us the link is down below in the description and you'll become part of the discord and a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together but let's jump right back into this chart so excella technologies inc xcla stock has actually ran hit a high here right of 354 in this upward trend and now it's pulled back and it's actually going in a slight sideways downward direction because it's still moving downwards you can kind of see that there but it's trying to consolidate here and stay within this channel it's going to be important because if it can continue to consolidate and show strength this could possibly be on its way up to newer highs and new resistance levels so you definitely want to keep this in mind pay close attention to it and see how it's reacting moving forward at these levels because even though it's kind of in consolidation it is showing a slight slope to the downside so we have some support levels to watch going into tomorrow and the days to follow so the first thing is our support level and lowest point of the day here it actually broke a little bit below yesterday's low and that is 296 if that gets broken through i'd watch that carefully how it reacts and how quickly is it moving to newer lows and if it does get broken through the next point of reference is down here at 284 i would watch how the bulls are reacting if they're trying to bring it back up or if the bears are turning this one down fairly fast now to the upside the first resistance level just to know where momentum is going the bulls are going to want to break through 310 that is the first support that needs to be created after that resistance level is broken through and then if that is accomplished the true resistance level of the day and actually can continue this momentum upwards and it's the highest point is 315 and it can bounce up creating a staircase effect right right off of this one right off of this one and then it can continue higher right creating new resistance levels being broken through new supports once they're broken through and continuing that momentum to the upside now excel technologies inc if it can continue pushing upwards or at least hold itself up it could force the shorts to cover their positions right that's what a lot of investors are waiting for and expecting we've seen that before in the charts how it could react and a lot of investors are anticipating a squeeze but if this goes back into weakness the shorts again are dominating the chart so that is something to be aware of and pay close attention to if you learned something new don't forget to subscribe click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that i post share this with the friends so they can receive the insight as well and i have a ticker symbol to share with you guys 
that you won't want to miss. You definitely want to have this on your watch list moving forward. It's presenting itself as an opportunity. And as always, those of you that hit that thumbs up, I really appreciate it. I can't thank you enough. It helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you truly appreciate my time and effort. Thank you so much. So the ticker symbol I have to share with you guys today is one that I've talked about before. I'm really liking the consolidation at these levels and if it continues to go lower within this niche, there's a lot of room. Analysis price targets at the lowest point are nearly saying this could double. At the highest point, it could almost triple. We're gonna look at that chart and as we look at it, I want you guys to realize that this is a niche that has a lot of growth potential. It's just forming and the stock is GNOG, Golden Nugget Online Gaming, guys. I've been talking about this every time it gets closer to $10. I stopped talking about it as it was going up. As it started to pull down, it was a great opportunity to watch it. And the lowest that we've seen it go recently is 1072. And the lowest that we've seen it go after the SPAC merger and that collapse is way down here at 1010. 1015 give or take so anything closer to ten dollars or even below ten dollars will be an even bigger opportunity earnings has been beat right the most recent one and the big question is how's this earnings going to affect the chart overall it can actually pull it back down to newer lows or closer to ten dollars making the opportunity even larger or it could be the reason that can start a catalyst to push this up to newer highs and new resistance levels. So I definitely want every single investor and viewer to be aware of how much opportunity is here at these levels. And you could definitely see in this volatility, some strength within that channel here, not going too much to the upside and not going too much to the downside, quote unquote, collapsing. So there is some strength. It's gonna be important to watch this one. The closer to 10, the better. And if it does pull back down closer to 10 or even below it, like I've said before, the opportunity is becoming even larger. This is not financial advice. This is just me enlightening you guys on the stocks I'm watching, why I'm watching them, and why I believe they have a great opportunity ahead of them. You definitely want to do more due diligence and research. In no shape or form am I telling you to buy, sell, or hold any positions on the stocks I mentioned. If not, I'm just enlightening you guys, and you do further due diligence based off of what I share. And as always, guys, Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.